Honestly, being able to wear a shirt without a binder is like the best thing ever. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley. What's up? I hope you guys are wonderful today. I'm doing pretty good myself and I'm pretty excited to film this video. Since we are starting to wrap up 2016, I thought it would be interesting to go and look at my New Year's resolutions from last year and kind of do a little response video to them. Especially considering that I did my resolutions in a video last year, so if you would like to see that, you can go click the link in the description to find that video. Warning, the quality of it is pretty bad because I was still learning and exploring my style. But let's get into it. I also, as I do this in a lot of my videos, have it written down so I know what I'm saying. My first New Year's resolution from last year was to move out of my house. Clearly that didn't happen, but there were a lot of reasons that put into why that didn't happen and I don't really know why I expected that to happen with not having a stable like environment. I do not have the monetary funds to move out and I haven't so I feel like that is an understandable reason as to why I haven't left my house. But what we have gotten better on is working on my family relationship so I have a better relationship with my parents and with my sister so we are growing and I know that that's going to improve a lot more once I move out but we might as well work on it while I'm still living at home. Honestly moving out is in the distant future. It's not in the near future but right now that's okay with me considering I'm running my shop and working on my channels and I don't have to stress about paying rent right now. My second resolution from last year was to get fit. Obviously the general idea of that didn't happen either, but instead of getting fit I started to practice more self-love. I said last year that I was going to work more on self-care and form a routine for it and I haven't formed a routine yet, but I am working on it and I have been doing more things to genuinely take care of myself myself in day-to-day -day life. So at least that's one thing that I have done. My next resolution was to be more organized. This kind of happened, but it also kind of didn't happen. I'm being more organized with like planning my videos and keeping a sort of schedule and I'm making to-do lists and I'm doing all of this other stuff and it has kept my life in check a little bit. So really I have been more organized with that. So I've been planning and scheduling things. I've been putting things on my Google Calendar. I've been keeping track of things. So it has made my life a little bit easier, but I do want to get better at that. My last resolution for 2016 was to be myself without apologizing. I feel personally that I have definitely accomplished this goal. I put myself out there loads of different ways, the loads of different things. I've started to work on my content and make it a hundred times better. I realized more in depth because I have for years but I realized more in depth that I age regress and that it's an okay thing that I age regress and I started to make social media around it and make friends around it and build a whole community around myself and within that I found a very loving and a very supporting community and it honestly feels amazing so not just with age regression but with just genuinely being myself and realizing that I was a non-binary trans guy instead of a binary trans guy and all of this other stuff that's happened I do feel like I have been myself genuinely without having to apologize for it and it makes me feel a lot better about myself. So that is my little recap on my 2016 New Year's resolutions. I hope you enjoyed and related to it a little bit. If you did enjoy make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below a little recap on your resolutions from this last year. You should definitely subscribe because I post two videos a week here on this channel and down below you can check out the links to my side channel and my regression channel. If you want to keep up with me day to day you can follow me on all of my social media which is at the Riley Kyle on every single platform. I have a video about my goals for 2017 coming at you next week so be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for that. I love you guys lots and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Okay goodbye.